speaker, we have a, a murderer in the house. We have a, a man who's got blood of innocent people in this house, which is supposed to represent the wills of our people. And therefore, it is incorrect for you to have extended an invitation to the clerk. It's an unrepentant apologist of apartheid who is not willing to accept that apartheid was crime against humanity. And I therefore suggest, Honorable Speaker, that we please request the clerk to leave this house because it doesn't belong to this house. Honorable Malam, have you finished? So my submission, Speaker, is that please, for us to have peaceful proceedings, we should ask the commander of Flag Plus, the apartheid apologist, a man with blood on his hands, to leave this parliament because he does not belong here. That's my submission, Speaker. Honorable Malema, I wish to rule on the submission you have made. This sitting has been called for one item and one item only, to give the president the space to address the nation. It is convention that all the presidents, the former presidents who are still alive, are invited to this sitting. The former president, Declerc, has been invited because of that. I therefore cannot sustain the submission you have made and therefore rule it out of order. Last week, the clerk takes platform in front of the whole world and says apartheid was not a crime against humanity. You must be ashamed you are sitting here clapping hands as ANC people. You must be ashamed. Honorable no one is even right raising us. Yeah. Speaker, no one is even raising a substantial argument in relation to what we are raising. You can't recognize the clerk as a president. Of what? Yeah. Who voted for him? Are you, are, you, are you saying this parliament, a democratic elected parliament, Honorable. must recognize a white only president who was elected by a criminal system of apartheid? Honorable you know, must Shibambu. acknowledge him as such. Honorable Shibam. It cannot be correct. So guys, that is Julius Malema um, in, the, in, the, in the parliament of South Africa and his team when they try to talk about um, um, the clock, which is the last apartheid um, president before Mandela became the president. But before, my, uh, um, before, before I say, um, discuss what um, Malema was saying and his members. Let me just give you a quick synopsis of who the clerk is. The clerk was in parliament before he was the president and he voted consistently with the apartheid government and black people. He was involved, not involved, but he was responsible for some of the death of black people and the torture and the beatings and the, the dogs mauling black people. And then when he became president, same thing continue. And he was forced by the West because via sanctions and the pressure of the economy was failing and they was losing money. And you know why white people they don't like to lose money. And so he was forced to um call election and put um for Mandela to and also forced to have black people to be able to vote. And um that is how the whole sanction came when Mandela came out of prison. And what he was forced to by the Americans after he, years. The Americans stand by and the world stand by and watch the the havoc that was weeping on black people in South Africa. So I don't want nobody to come and say, oh, you, um, there's a reason why Mandela became president. It was because it was a global push by citizens to get that situation rectified why it was. Anyway, so Malema said he's a murderer and um he should not be in the parliament, which I am a hundred percent agreeing with why am i saying this just like how the, the member said the clerk defended apartheid he said he was not um uh he was saying he what what is i don't, I don't remember his exact words but he said something in the sense of 
uh, apartheid wasn't a crime against black people. He he never apologized for it. He he gave excuses for it, and then he switched the word from apartheid to um what was the word he was using? He was using that term, separatist. Yeah, he's trying to sweeten it up and switch it up to make it now trying to make make it don't look so outrageous as it, as it was, but to the south it would always separate it in that apartheid. Anyway, and I'm so disappointed by the the chairperson of the parliament when she's saying all living presidents have the right to speak in the parliament. I do agree with that to a point. Why? Because the clerk was not democratically elected, as the member said. The clerk was put in power solely by white vote because at the time black people could not vote. So it was only a very small majority of white people could vote at that time. Uh, you know, the country was more was 90% black, 10% white. So that 10% of white voted for the clerk to become president of the country. So how is it you're gonna say he's he's not a democratically elected president because he it was a um it an apartheid um regime was um was a um like a hate group so you cannot put that to for instance every other president after that who became president because both black and white was be able to vote and that's that's democracy not one specific group that's ten percent ten percent of the population to put a president into to rule over the hundred percent of um South Africa so that in itself they are hundred percent right and up to now the ANC that is in power now has not given a valid reason why the clerk must speak in parliament. Why I think they're doing it? Because the ANC has been in 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 um that's what I'm looking for. Wait a minute, you're gonna come back to me. Have been infiltrated by the the same apartheid people who run the country, those big families who have all the money. They infiltrated the current ANC and running shit. Basically, just running the country from with from behind doors, closed doors. So the clerk had no business to be in the parliament, even though he passed and he was and, and what I get to understand and, and his deathbed. I did a video on this two days ago. And his deathbed. I will put a um a link in the description for that for that video I did where he's trying to ask for forgiveness. And how apartheid was wrong. Now he's on his deathbed. Who cares? You can't do all your immoralities, your your your, your death, your torture, dogs eating black people, and the riches you gain. Now when you're old and wrinkly and can't move, you're gonna say, "Oh, I'm apologize and forgive me. It was wrong." No, I don't want to hear it. Stay ten toes deep till the day you die. You want to get forgiveness to go to you to go have a restful, um, a restful, a peaceful death? Hell no. You need to feel the guilt must weigh on you and eat you alive until you're dead. And if there's an afterlife or whatever it is. So anyway, so I'm um, Julius Mende, man. You have people who know will forgive the clerk, which is a uh, apartheid president who people and they will lambaste and disrespect Julius Malema who's fighting for black people. See the difference? Because some of our black people are still their minds are still colonized. They're not emancipated their, their minds have not been emancipated. You remember that? Bob Marley said none but ourselves can free our mind. Emancipate yourself your mind from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free up your mind. So it's a fact. So these ANC current people who is clapping for the clock, they need licks because how are you gonna do that for a president who um hurt so many black people back in the in that time? Anyway, anyway, sorry about that. Let me can pause this. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I know I have a little issue with it, but my flag my phone is okay. But anyway, thanks for watching. Tell a friend, tell a friend, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the mantra helps to grow the channel. So, peace, one love. Boom.